Now, at uh, 90%, I'm afraid that the walls are a little close to the candle. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I would use that. I would be afraid to melt my plastic. This is PLA, by the way. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. In these difficult times where some of us, or I should say many of us, are quarantined, then it's the perfect time to do 3D printing because 3D printing takes a lot of time and effort. For example, what I have today here I want to talk about is the Vortex Keep. I'll put the link in my video description, but this was designed by uh, Juka Sipanen uh, in 2019, so just like a year ago, and this is on my minifactory.com. Now, there have been more than 2,000 downloads for this castle. Or keep what is interesting with this is that you can print the three components and in different colors like you can see here and you can join them together so there is the water which I printed blue the same as blue the same blue I use for my chest now you know if you uh, saw if you follow my channel I did a complete uh, chest set and I used blue and red to make it different than just white and black so I did the water in blue and as you can see it have indents at the top so you can see that the castle will fit right in there. Um, castle over here lots of details as you can see even the inside has a lot of details and of course you can see on the outside here so I did that in gray and finally the mountain is black because well I didn't have like a like a dark brown or maybe a dark green but oh I thought black would uh, would do it so as you can see here the mountain now before I put all three parts together this is interesting and I must say that generally speaking I am very happy with what the designers do for example I did the castle here right here did that also a while ago so I think the designers do a great job where I disagree is in their parameters to print. For example, in this case, if you look at the tower, the developer says no support, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, he does say no support needed and no raft. I kind of disagree. Uh, I did support because look at this big arch here, look at the walkways up here. So I did support. I think it's better and also I did a raft because of these small pieces here uh, by the time you get up here they may fall apart so I did the raft for this obviously for the water you don't need support look at the big surface in the back here so you don't need I mean addition you don't need to have a brim or a raft for this and you don't need support like I said for the mountain Again, the developer says that there is no need for a uh, for a raft and support. Now, I agree. For this part, you don't need support because you can see the angles over here. But you do need a raft. And I did print this without the raft. And I got a misprint after three hours because you will see here. Look at the very thin pieces here. I'll take my hand out here so, so we have a good uh, focus. At some point, they attach at the top over here, but that takes a while. So you have about like this high with a thin piece. You need a raft. Now, I'm going to post a few pictures. I did not do a time lapse in this case. I just took a few pictures during the, the print. It takes uh, 18 hours to print the uh, castle at the uh, layer height of 0.2 millimeter and a speed of 60 on my Ender 3 printer. For the water, 18 hours, same parameters. And for the mountain, it took 26 hours. So a day, a full day plus two hours. So let's have a look at a few pictures here and that will take just a few seconds.
Okay, now let's put the things together. As you can see, for the uh, the keep or the castle, it goes this way here. It fits perfectly. You don't need to do anything in terms of plastic removal with an exacto, for example, for this to fit. But for the water to fit in the mountain, and I'm going to have the right orientation this way here. As you can see, it goes it goes on top very well but it's a very tight fit to get that all the way down so i had to remove some plastic here and also in the holes over here so you have to trim with an exacto so let me put this all back together and i'll be back in a second now i put all the three pieces together as you can see and look at that i'll take the camera here to show you closer here look at that it's very very nice I forgot to mention that this is 90% reduction so if you download the files for this to fit especially the mountain on the Ender 3 printing then you need to reduce by 10% so this is all 90% of the actual size for the uh, the file and uh, also um, you can have and that's kind of the idea you can have a um, little um, uh, lantern or a candle, I guess, in here, right there in the middle. Look at that. Right in the middle. I'll take the camera again to show you here. Look at that. You can have a candle in the middle. Now, at 90%, uh, I'm afraid that the walls are a little close to the candle, so I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure I would use that. I would be afraid to melt my plastic. This is PLA, by the way. But if you are a bigger printer and you can print this at 100%, then the walls will be a bit further apart. So then I think it will be safe to use a candle inside. So this is it, guys. The uh, Vortex Keep by uh, Juka Sepanen. I think it's a very, very cool uh, project to print. And again, what I like is that there is no paint. You print the three parts in three with three different color filament. So thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions about this project, about this print, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.